thank you for all you have done. Thank you, oh God, for just being so gracious and so kind. Lord God, we just come in the name of Jesus, that you will look upon us as we uh, venture to that word, that your word will go forth. And Lord God, that someone need to hear a word from thee on to this morning. And Lord of God, we just forever give you the glory and the praise. And Lord of God, we just come against anything that is not of thee. And Lord God, that your word will go forth. And Lord God, we forever give you praise, honor, and the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And all the people said, Amen. 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 Turn with me to uh, Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3. And starting at the 19th verse, Daniel chapter 3, starting at the 19th verse, a very familiar passage of scripture. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his vestige was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace born seven times more it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats for hosen, and their hats and their garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that were uh, taken up, Shad, that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these men, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste, and spake and said unto the counselors, Did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fiery furnace, in the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. And he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say unto the church. Amen. Lord, I see four men loosed, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Our, our message for this morning is that you are not alone. Right you are not alone. Amen. We'll find here with that that, that Nebuchadnezzar uh, in verse 19 was full of fury, full of anger, full of wrath. So the question is then, why was Nebuchadnezzar so full of wrath, so upset, so uh, full of, of uh, uh, anger until he uh, turned the fiery furnace up seven times its original heat? And if you read, if you read, if you get time, that read the whole chapter or the third chapter of Daniel, and you will find that um, in uh, that Nebuchadnezzar, as being the king of Babylon, ultimately had invaded Jerusalem a third time, and he brought Daniel and Ezekiel and and uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into captivity. And uh, Daniel, he was uh, already established uh, uh, because of the things that God has done through him in a foreign land. So he had these three Hebrew boys who now are friends of Daniel and they are in this foreign land. But though they are in a foreign land, they did not ever forget their roots or their religious teachings or the things they taught when they were uh, yet younger, uh, young men. 
So they're in captivity that then you have Nebuchadnezzar, who ultimately has been the, the king of Babylon, uh, uh, represent, if you will, of that time, the world system. And through that world system, and Nebuchadnezzar being a prideful man that he was, he concluded that uh, he had taken over the known world, he had taken over the known world at that time, and he, he wanted to acknowledge or take the credit for for all that he has done. But what Nebuchadnezzar did not understand was that God was using him so that he may get his children to the point to where that he need to get them to. Now, for you remember that God said because of the sins of Israel that he will raise up a hasty and terrible nation and that nation was Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonian Empire. But Nebuchadnezzar as being a, a prideful man thought he did all this conquering on his own so now that he got the uh, Israelites or the the, uh, the tribe of Judah if you will uh, in captivity and, and he figured that that he was a God within himself and then so because he thought he was a God because of the position that he was in is that uh, he then uh, decided to build an image of himself and that all the city everybody of the known world will worship who will worship him for who he is and you know and you know uh, it's a dangerous thing to have pride because uh, you know the Bible said pride becomes before the uh, destruction and a haughty spirit before the fall. And you know, when, when you exalt yourself, then when you exalt yourself, anybody could pull you down. And you know, when, and when, when you put yourself on a pedestal, God will know how to abase you. God will know how to humble you. God will know how to uh, uh, bring you down, if you will. But so, you know, if you go, if you read in, then in uh, Daniel chapter 4, you will read how God had to bring Nebuchadnezzar down. Now, ultimately, ultimately, God had to uh, take Nebuchadnezzar's mind that he will humble him and he will crawl and go about the forest in uh, 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 acting like a wild animal. Now, and you know, so so he, he thought he was God. He thought he was God and, and he wanted everybody to, to worship him. So, so Nebuchadnezzar in a sense had represented the world system and he had built this image that all of Israel will worship that everybody will come and worship this image so he built this image that was not uh, three story tall if you will he built this image and he wanted all the music to play the soft, the harp tree, the trim timbos and the trumpets all that to blow and, and when people blow and when they uh, play, play the music, that the music will be played and then the people will start worshiping that image. And I think I need to put a pin there because uh, if people, if you don't realize or not, uh, that music ultimately comes into your soul. Now, music uh, ultimately, when, when it get into your soul, when it get into your psyche, you ultimately will end up doing what that music was designed to do. That's why you have to be careful, if you will, of what kind of music you are listening to and what kind of music you're allowed to be played in church. You'll see music, uh, if, if Satan is Satan, uh, who is the prince of this world system, if he wanted to reach people by the masses, one, he would go through music, and then two, he would go by way of the airways and through television. So so you so so you you, you you have your children they listen, if they listen to all this hard rap and, and everything that you sub there and you wonder why they got bad attitudes, it might be because of the music that they are listening to. You so 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 Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, if you will, he wanted all the music to be played because he was his world system and he made himself to be a god and, and so that he brought all his counselors and priests and all those together. 
together and he started playing the music. And when he started playing the music, everybody bowed down but three people. And those people were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, they, they remember because they remember that Daddy said that thou shalt not have no other God before me. He, they remember that they that their father taught them that um that uh, uh thou shalt not bow down before any image. So no matter where you are in the world, that you should not bow down to any kind of image. So they didn't bow down. They did not bow down uh, to what Nebuchadnezzar wanted them to bow down to. They didn't bow down to the image. Uh, and I think I need to share notice with you this morning is that, that everything that's going on in our world system uh, that you need, need not or don't you dare bow down to all the new laws that has gone on in this land. Uh, don't you dare bow down to the, to the world system. Uh, you know there are times that I said before that there is time coming to where Christians or people of God need to take a stand and go have to stand up for the Lord. And if you don't believe me, you know, you know, with all the stuff that is going on, all the, all the devil wants us to do is to bow down to this world system. And if you give in and bow down to the world system, then you are bowed down to the Nebuchadnezzar of our time. So then they did not, they did not bow down. So don't you bow down unto our world system. Because we are children of God. You are a child of God and that he will God will be with you and there will be a time there will be a time that uh, uh, if uh, you have to take a stand for Christ uh, you have to take a stand for Jesus uh, and ultimately you will have to put your life on the line for the Lord so then so then so then uh, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they decided that they were not going to bow down because they knew who the one and true God was. And you know, and when you know within yourself who is the one and true only God, you won't bow down to no other God. <laughs> no matter they, if it's uh, your, your, no matter if it's your husband, your wife, your children, any kind of job, when you serve the one and true God, that they have no power over you. <laughs> How many of us know that when you are a child of God, that the enemy does not have power over you? <laughs> so then, so then, uh, they did not bow down and Nebuchadnezzar he was he was fond of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego because of what they did for him before time so then he decided that he was going to give them one more try and then he called them all together and called them into his chamber he said now since you would not do it openly let's see if you would do it privately here in my office and that when the music play that you will start bow down to that image and you see that's how the enemy works if he cannot get you to worship him in public he'll try to get you to worship him in private how many of us know you know there are a lot of people in church nowadays uh, who go to church who put on the form of godliness uh, they look good in private in public but in their private lives they are worshiping the Nebuchadnezzar of this time there are a lot of people who are worshiping the world system in their private life but I think I need to share notice with you that God sees you no matter if you are in public or or if you are in pride. When he says do not bow down to no other God, he means just that. Whether you are in your private devotion, whether you are in the privacy of your own home. You remember when Israel, they were in the wilderness, they came into the land of Canaan, and then they, they went out and worshiped God. They went out and worshiped in public, but in their private lives, they had all the idols and statues in their home, and it displayed 
pleases God and God knew all about it. So then Nebuchadnezzar gave them Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego another chance. They played the music and they did not bow down. So, uh, uh, so uh, and then uh, Nebuchadnezzar got all upset. He got all uh, been out of shape uh, that his wrath uh, was more than what it was. Uh, and I think I need to share notice with you uh, that um, uh, we do, when you do not yield uh, to the attack of the enemy, the enemy will get more wrath and get all upset because he cannot get you to do what he wants you to do. Uh, so then so then uh, uh, the Nebuchadnezzar was all upset. Uh, so you know uh, uh, when you don't bow down uh, to the attacks of the enemy, uh, when, you don't, when you don't bow down uh, to uh, the tricks of the enemy, uh, when you do not bow down uh, and worship uh, the world system, uh, then the enemy come up against you all the more. Uh, that means to show that you must be doing something right. Uh, but notice something if you hear uh, and, uh, the three boys uh, had told Nebuchadnezzar uh, and so Nebuchadnezzar go propose a question uh, he's the thinking this high high and mighty person uh, and he said then uh, uh, if you don't bow down uh, who is that God that's going to deliver you out of my hands uh, and you know you have to be careful uh, you see uh, uh, once a person uh, claim to be God or think they have all this power they're trying to come up against you I tell you I tell you this morning they're all or too short to box with God because there is nobody mightier than God there is nobody greater than him there is nobody superior than God because God is just who he say he is so you know the enemy can say what they want to say, but they cannot come against our God. How many of us know can nobody stand up against our God? So then, uh, uh, then, uh, then uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, that they uh, was careful and respectful uh, to Nebuchadnezzar and said, we are careful uh, not to answer this question. And he said, they said, uh, that let it be known, uh, let it be known uh, that we will not bow down to your image. Uh, let it be known uh, that if... Uh, uh, we do not, uh, 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 if our God uh, do not deliver us, uh, we still will not bow down. Uh, however, we know that God uh, is able. Uh, and how many of us know uh, that God is able? Uh, no matter how your enemy try to come up against you, God is able. Uh, no matter how much trouble uh, comes your way, uh, we know God is able. Uh, how many of us know uh, that no matter what the world may say that our God, He is able. He's able to fix every situation. He's able to deliver you out of whatever situation it is. So then Nebuchadnezzar now is all upset that his anger is kindled against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That his anger is a, a so that he want to turn them up to the fiery furnace uh, up seven times is the original he uh, so he is good and mad uh, he is good and upset uh, and I think I need to share notice with him uh, that uh, when we uh, do not yield uh, to the attack of the enemy uh, when we stand up for God uh, you can expect uh, the enemy to get all upset uh, and for his wrath to be kindled uh, but don't you worry uh, God got your back. God got you. And how many of us know that God got you? No matter what your situation said, no matter how the enemy may come, God got you. So then uh, uh, he turned the furnace up uh, seven times his original heat. Uh, and then he got uh, the mighty men, uh, the best men, uh, to come uh, and bound up 
spell Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And you know, that's how it is. The devil, he's not sending the weak in the weak spirit. He's not sending the weak spirit to intimidate you. But he's trying to come with his best angels, the best demonic angels, to try to bind you up. But don't worry, because we are getting ready to come across the first miracle. The furnace is seven times its original heat. And then these mighty men had came and got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And then they started walking towards his furnace. And because there was a hasty decision, and that the mighty men that walked towards the furnace with these three young men, that the fire that was intended for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had burned up the mighty men, and no harm had came to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And that's the first miracle. You see that those that the Satan stand around to attack you, God will take care of them first. That with they come around, the Lord will protect you from them. And the trap they set for you, they end up falling into. So these men. These mighty men had got burnt up, but you know, here comes the second miracle that Shadrach, Meshach, her hand of Benny Gold, had went into the fiery furnace. They walked on in the fiery furnace, believing God will deliver them. And I need to share notice with you this morning that no matter uh, how hot the fire gets, uh, God is with you. Uh, the miracle is uh, uh, that you are sustained uh, in that fire, uh, and that you are held up uh, in that fire. Uh, no matter uh, what your situation is, uh, yes, uh, it's a hot furnace, uh, but look at you. You are standing up. Uh, look at you. Uh, you still got your right mind. Uh, look at you. Uh, you're still experiencing uh, the grace of God. Uh, now look what Shadrach, Meshach, uh, uh, and Abednego, uh, they went in the fire uh, and they bowed down uh, and fell on their knees. Uh, and you know sometimes uh, it may seem like uh, the fire is a little hot. Uh, and yes it is. Uh, it's a hot fire. Uh, but it don't keep you from uh, uh, kneeling down uh, and praying to the Lord. Uh, how many of us uh, know uh, you can pray in the midst of your furnace? Yeah. And because they were uh, uh, in the furnace, uh, because they were uh, uh, kneeling down, uh, you look on the outside, uh, the Nebuchadnezzar uh, uh, started getting a little rusty. Uh, Restless, uh, and he was wondering uh, uh, what's going on uh, uh, in the furnace. Uh, and he looked down uh, uh, in the furnace, uh, and he came uh, and got all his peers uh, and said, Now uh, I know we put uh, uh, three men in the furnace, uh, and I'm gonna ask you, uh, uh, Did I put uh, uh, three men in the fiery furnace? Uh, and they say, A Greek. He said, but when I uh, look down in the furnace, uh, I see the fourth man uh, that's walking around uh, in the fire, uh, and he looked like uh, the son of God. Now, uh, now, uh, I think I need to share notice. Uh, yes, uh, oh, oh, yes, the fire may be hot, uh, but you're not bound yourself. Uh, Fire, but he will protect you 
And you know that's how the enemy works. When you worship the one and true God and all they adore to you and all they are trying to do, they are wondering why is it that you are still standing? They are wondering why is it that you are still going on? They are wondering why is it that you are still marching on? What they fail to realize is uh, what they don't see, uh, and you know uh, that shields uh, is right there with you. Uh, that shields uh, is in the fire with you. That shields uh, is walking around uh, uh, right there with you. Uh, is there anybody here uh, who knows the Lord will uh, be right there with you? Uh, I hear you praying. Uh, even until the end of the world. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. He was in the fire that never could lose you. He got them out of the fire and then never could lose you. So the deliverance of God and then his enemy never could lose you and made a decree of Extend the invitation. You come by let Christian experience or candidate for baptism. Yes, 